हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई टेक अप ए न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज राखी गढ़ी द बिगेस्ट साइट ऑफ इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन राखी गढ़ी इज ए साइट व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन द हिसार डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हरियाणा एंड नाउ एक्सकेवेशंस आर गोइंग ऑन एंड न्यू फाइंड्स हैव बीन एक्सकेवेटेड बाय आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट ए टीम ऑफ 40 आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट discovered so many important items so along with mohanjodro harappa chanudaro amri lothal kalibanga raki gadi has become now the most important site in terms of its area in terms of size and that's why i have taken up this topic because this news item was published yesterday in times of india so now my lesson plan includes why is it in the news a special feature of indus valley civilization important finds from different sites important religious beliefs contribution of indus valley civilization decline of indus valley civilization was the harappan culture a vedic culture and finally conclusion friends if you like my lecture please share and subscribe my channel aj is academy indore which is a free channel so now let us start the proceedings why is it in the news a team of 40 archaeologists excavated 3 out of 11 mounds across 350 hectares at raki gadi and excavation brought forth wide roads, drainage networks, multi tire houses, jewelry making units, and a plant city. Parts of the mature phase of the Harappan civilization is between 2600 to 1900 BC. Now, this is the map which will show you the spread of Indus Valley civilization. Friends, you know that there are two important sites which were discovered in 1921 and 1922 at Harappa and Mohanjodro. While Harappa is located in the left side of the Ravi River, Mohanjodro is located at the right side of the Indus River. So along with Harappa, Mohanjodro, Kotdiji, Chanudaro, Amri, Lothal, Dholavira in the Kach, so Sukta Jandor at the mouth of Arabian Sea and Raki Gari in Hisar district of Haryana. Banwali and Alamgir Pur. These are the important sites of Indus Valley Civilization. So, in geographical extent, no other ancient civilization was so much bigger than the Indus Valley Civilization, which had the mature phase of 2600 BC to 1900 BC. What are the special features of Indus Valley Civilization? Friends, as you know that Indus Valley Civilization is also called Harappan Civilization. It is also called Indus Saraswati Civilization. So most of the archaeologists prefer to call it Harappan culture. So what are the special features of Indus Valley Civilization? Number one, urban planning, the use of burnt brick houses, elaborate drainage system, water supply system, cluster of large non-residential buildings, new techniques in handicrafts like seal carving and metallurgy. More than 3,000 seals have been found with scripts, although we have not deciphered as yet the script written over seals. So we have only the source of information and that is archaeological source. We have no literary source 
with regard to Indus Valley civilization because we could not decipher the script written over so many seals. Important finds from different sites. Harappa, the city followed grid planning. What is grid planning? Grid planning is the, this one is north and south and then it has to be crossed from west to east forming 90 degree angle 90 degree angle this is called grid planning and similar grid planning was followed in Mohanjodro also similarly rows of six granaries shows that there was a storage facilities and people might have voluntarily gifted the ruler in kind only place having evidence of coffin burial symmetry edge of alien people phallus worship these are the important finds of harappa similarly in mohanjodro there is a grid planning large granaries great bath human skeletons showing invasion and massacre, a piece of woman cotton along with a spindle horse, a bronze dancing girl, a bearded man in STI tight, a seal representing mother goddess with a plant growing with her womb. So we see that there is an ample emphasis on mother goddess. In Chanu Daro, there is no citadel. Bead making soap is present. A small ink pot was also Found in Kalibanga, evidence of furrowed land, evidence of seven far altars and camel bones. It means that Indus people worshipped far god like the Vedic people or Persians. Similarly, black bangles, wooden furrow, wooden drainage, these are the important finds at Kalibanga. At Lothal, remains of rice husk. It means that Indus people use rice as their staple diets. Sheep designed on a seal, first man made port in the world, and a dog, evidence of joint burial. Dholavira, unique water management system, and this map will show that how they invented the water storage facility and its proper management. Important religious beliefs. What were the religious beliefs of Indus people? Number one, chief male deity Paspati Mahadev, seated in a yogic posture, surrounded by elephant, tiger, reno, buffalo, and two deer at the feet. This statue will show you the Paspati Mahadev. Later on, after 6th century BC, Pasupat Mahadev was started, worshipped on a large scale. Seals of Mother Goddess has been found. Phallic worship because Indus people worshipped phallus, sex organs, worship of fire, people, and unicorn bull. Unicorn bull was their pious animal. Believed in ghost, used amulets as protection against them. Practiced burials of the dead. Body put the dead in the extended position with the head in the north direction and the grave was filled with the daily necessities of the dead person. So the Indus people believed in the life after death like the Mesopotamian and Egyptian people in the ancient period. No temple was found in Indus civilization like in the Mesopotamia where we find huge juggernauts where upon which temples were erected for worshipping gods. But no such temple was found in the Indus civilization. So most of the archaeologists are of the 
view that indus people were governed by a class of merchants not by a class of priests like mesopotamia and egypt contribution of indus very civilization what were the contribution of indus people to the humanity public bath has been found in mohenjo-daro and most of the archaeologists are of the opinion that this public bath were used for religious purposes grid plan i have already discussed about it how the roads from north to south and from west to east cut across at 90 degree angle and so they formed grid plan while constructing cities drainage system every house was connected with the main drain and every house had well for fetching water in harappa and mohenjodaro we find double triple storey building but windows were not on the road side it seems that indus people gave more prominence to privacy so their drainage system was far better or nice than any other contemporary civilization in ancient world there was a thriving cotton industry because we have excavated spindle holes and cottons were also produced in the sindh areas i mean indus river basin indus people were also expert in hydraulic engineering as we have found in dholabira in kach area whereby they excellently managed water harvesting water storage and irrigation system similarly they also knew the practice of constructing dams in order to store water during a scarce season bronze sculptures and dancing girls found at mohenjodaro shows that they had a special niche for a sculpture a step well flights of a step reach to water as you have found in the case of public bath so they invented a step well then cpr the man made cpr is found at lothal 80 km away from amadavad at the mouth of arabian sea cock fighting they used cock fighting as past time and this practice again spread to western asia later on ornamental buttons were used by indus people and they used geometrical buttons whereby threads were passed to attach their clothes weights and measures indus people counted in the multiple of 2 4 6 8 16 and 16 16 chhata was one set and this was the practice followed most recent times up to 1954 when government adopted metric system decline of the indus valley civilization what were the causes for the decline of indus valley civilization there is no unanimity of view some scholars attribute external aggression another attribute unstable river system there are other theories of natural calamities than climate change arjan invasion by mortimer wheeler earthquake dryness of river and finally ecological imbalance leading to the decline of indus valley civilization 
Now the question is, was the Harappan culture a Vedic culture? Was the Vedic culture an extension of Harappan culture? Number one, plant towns, crafts, commerce, large structure built of burnt bricks marked the mature Harappan phase. The Rig Vedic and later Vedic period do not feature these artifacts. Early Vedic people lived on cattle rearing, supplemented by agriculture, and did not use bricks. The mature urban Harappan phase lasted between 2500 to 1900 BC, while the Rig Vedic period is placed around 1500 BC. Rigved mentions only barley, but the Harappan knew about wheat, sesame, and peas. Rhinoceros and tiger were known to Harappans, but unknown to Vedic people. Vedic people used horse, while Harappan used elephants. It was only after 1000 years after the rise of Mughal that Arjans started using elephants in warfare. No important Harappan feature appear in the painted grey wire culture attributed to first half of the first millennium BC. PGW doesn't have the evidence of great building, burnt bricks, bronze, urbanism and writing. Friends, you know that uh, Indus people used to write from right to left and then from left to right in continuity. While after 1000 years, Vedic people started writing the Brahmi script, which was written from left to right. Left to right. Conclusion It is clear that no semblance of Continuity between Harappan and Vedic culture can be established. While Harappan culture was urban, Vedic culture was rural. Friends, as you know that uh, in India, the second urbanization started from 6th century BC, the age of Buddha, where so many cities sprang up in northern India. Although certain religious beliefs percolated down to the Vedic people. So, no semblance of continuity can be established between Indus people and Vedic people. Friends, if you like my lecture, please share and subscribe and tell your friends that this is a free channel. Thank you very much.